Oh wait, you guys are really ordering Domino's pizza right now? Yeah, we're gonna order because it's already 11 and... Everything else closes? Wait, is it over? It's over! Oh no! I was gonna say use my code! Use my code for 15% off! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Clearly, we have a lot of bottles and cans that need to go. So, um, let's check the date. My neighborhood, uh, cans and bottles. <clears throat> cans and bottles are on uh, Fridays, huh? Ooh, that's a long time from now. Um, so, I think I'll just toss a few of them out right now so the best thing and the worst thing that i ever experienced ever is the trash experience i and, and as much as i want to you know revel <laughs> on on how the system in japan works i do enjoy it but sometimes when you forget a day to throw away a thing I mean, it's personal responsibility, right? Like you mark on the calendar when to throw away your trash, but this place has specific days to throw away trash. And because of that, if you miss, you miss, right? So I'm just going to uh, finally take control of the cans as that's piling up and it's not cute. So um, yeah. Join me along. Today is just a simple day of how I throw out the cans if I miss the trash day or if I'm too lazy to wait for Friday to come around. Yep, so let's do it. Toss these guys back here, and we should be good to go. So I typically go to a few different convenience stores, especially with trash cans on the outside. A few places have changed their trash can policy by putting them inside. So we're gonna scope out for the ones that put their trash cans on the outside, toss a few bottles, call it a day. Okay, so I was pretty lucky there, and that was an empty can. So I was, well, empty trash can. And I was able to put all my bottles in there, which uh, sometimes I get super lucky, and I love this trash can. It's right next to the house. So lesson learned, whatever you do, throw your trash away on time in Japan. There's specific days, cans, bottles, wood chips, guarding stuff, whatever. Throw it away when you're supposed to throw it away. And uh, yeah, today's rest of the days. I'm jam packed full of lessons, studying, work hard, do the thing you gotta do, do the hard thing. Sometimes I get like super deep with like my conversation 
my conversations with a lot of my Japanese teachers, I try to to capture the spirit of what I go through as as an American, as like a human being, like how I feel, what I go through, what I experience in Japan. And like it it like it like triggers a lot of feelings. Like it triggers like really strange conversation topics that I know honestly many of my Japanese teachers just don't know how to like navigate through because I I'm very direct when I give my topics. I'm very like very 100% about what I'm about and like what I do. Like I'm like yes, like I'm treated a certain way. People avoid me a certain way. They want to like they don't understand the difference like with like passive aggressive behavior of not trying to have a conversation with someone like it's so upsetting and you know when i try to pour these feelings out a lot of my japanese teachers they they struggle with this not negative talk but like like conversations that are naturally reserved for maybe somebody like a like maybe who's someone who's well equipped with dealing with striking feelings right so i'm the type of person who tell somebody the truth like i will tell you what it is even if you don't want to hear it and that's just my personality and i've been this way like my whole life so when someone is not being truthful with me like and i discover like that's how you feel that's how you are i'll call you out i'll tell you what it is and it's not reciprocated the same way so when i when i have these japanese lessons and i try to like explain exactly how i feel or what i go through or what i think it becomes very challenging and i think that's the 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 level of japanese that i'm trying to achieve um is like that's the the plateau that's like the next step in my evolution and learning so that's Whew, does that make sense? That's that's where I want to go. Hey everybody, so thank you for following along all the new subs. I appreciate you. And thanks for following me on this channel, this journey. Uh, you guys are the best. You guys are the greatest. I am in debates right now between wanting to take the N2 uh, JLPT or the N3 JLPT. And both of them have their struggles. I was going to discuss it right now, but I think the load of today's topics were quite heavy so i just wanted to wrap this up um, if you have any questions anything you want to ask or share hit me with a comment down below thank you so very much for following me on the journey and i'll see you guys later peace